Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and configure Git on your Ubuntu Linux operating system. And I'm also going to show you how you can create and configure repository on GitHub so that you can transfer file to GitHub using Git. So let's get started. First of all, you need to install Git. So the command is sudo apt minus get install git okay so sudo apt minus get install git and give your password and it will install git on your system the git is already installed in my system so it says it's newly installed but uh, in your case it's going to take a uh, few seconds and uh, it will be installed you don't need to do any extra things okay once you have uh, installed git on your ubuntu operating system you need to open your browser and uh, go to github.com okay and in here you need to create an account if you don't have already otherwise if you have already uh, a created account you can sign it sign in with your account okay so creating an account is not uh, very difficult. You can just give your username, password and email ID and it will be created. And uh, once you created your account, you just need to log in with your account. So uh, I just need to give my username and password and sign in. And now I can see uh, this dashboard of Git. Okay. Now what uh, I need to do is I need to uh, set up my git username and email id on this ubuntu right so what i need to do is i need to give this command git config minus minus global space user dot name and in double quotes you need to give your username this username should be identical to your username which you have provided on github okay so just give this command and press enter this will set up your username uh, on git right in the same way you just need to provide your uh, email by just giving this command i'm going to give you all the commands in the description so you don't need to worry about the commands you just can uh, copy these commands and paste it on your terminal so the second command you need is git config minus minus global user dot email and in the double quotes you just need to give your email id okay and press enter and now you can uh, go to your github and uh, just click this button which says create repository and then create a new repository click create new repository and in here you can give the name to your repository for example git test and you can provide the description for your uh, repository for example this is just for test and then you can choose whether you want public or private repository public is free for you but if you want to choose a private you need to pay some money for this so i'm going to choose this public and then i'm going to just click this create repository button and then my repository is created so once this repository is created let's uh, create a directory for this in our ubuntu operating system so what i'm going to do is let's see what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory in my home folder. So mkdir for make directory and my directory name would be, for example, I will give the same name git test. Okay. So git test and the directory has been created. And now I'm going to go to my git test directory and it's empty right now and now what i can do is i can simply follow these commands which uh, 
github uh, tells me to do so first of all it's recommending me to create a readme file so i'm going to create it so just copy all these commands one by one and give uh, these command one by one and everything will be uh, really easy right so i'm going to copy this command go to my terminal paste this command and then press enter it's going to create a readme.md file inside my uh, git test directory and then the second command is to initialize git in my directory so i'm just going to give git init and press enter and it says initialize empty git repository okay so it has initialized empty git repository for me the third command is to add the file i have created which is readme file to the git okay so just give give git add readme this add commands adds your file to the git okay so press enter and it's going to add your readme file then the next command is to commit your file okay so once you add your file you need to commit your file in order to appear on uh, or in order to save your changes in git okay so just give this command git commit minus m then in quotes you need to give some comment for your uh, commit for example my first commit or whatever is the purpose of your commit okay so minus m is for the description press enter and it's going to commit your uh, changes to git okay so it says one file changed one insertion and everything is okay now the next command is for adding the remote uh, origin okay so this is the url which uh, you know which gives the link to the github right so we are going to link our directory to this github directory okay so this will be the command for this so just copy this command and paste it and press enter and it's going to link your github directory and your local directory okay and the last command is to push your uh, changes so just give this command push so copy this and the last command is git push minus u origin master okay and press enter and here you need to give your username first so my username and then you need to give your password once you press enter so give your password and once you do this uh, your changes will be committed in your github directory okay so let's uh, click it once again and now you can see uh, your directory uh, or your changes uh, can be seen here now for example i want to add a new file to my git test directory right now i only have one file which is readme file i'm going to clear this terminal and then list directory i have only one which is readme.md let's add one more file for example uh, nano nano is the command for creating a new file for example and then abc.txt i'm going to add this okay and press enter and in here i'm going to give uh, some uh, text a b c d for example or some random so some random letter just for testing okay and or let's give hi git 
okay and press control o and press enter it will save your changes and then press control x to exit and then just to ls and you can see this abc.txt will be created in your um, in your directory and in order to read it once again you just need to give nano abc.txt and you will go inside it control x to get out now in order to uh, add this we will follow the same uh, procedure just write git add and then your file name which is abc.txt and press enter it's going to add my abc.txt to the git and then i'm going to commit this uh, file to the git so git commit and then my file name or oh, and first of all uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to um, add some description for this so once i added this i need to commit it to save the changes okay so what i can do is i can give a, a comment minus m and i can give i added abc dot txt and it's going to save the changes enter and it's going to commit your changes here so once you commit your uh, file you just need to follow the same procedure which we have followed for readme file which is git remote add origin and then https colon slash slash github.com slash your username slash your directory name dot git okay so press enter which is all already exist and then just give this command to push your changes which is this one git push minus u origin master okay so press enter give your username and then give your password press enter and it's going to uh, push your changes which we have done we have added abc.txt so now we are going to go to our github website repository and we are going to refresh uh, this uh, repository so i'm just going to click it and i can see abc.txt here okay so just press uh, you can just check the content just click this and it says hi git which we have uh, uh, added to this text so in this way you can install git on your ubuntu operating system and configure it with github i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for